I think we're going. So, uh, continuing on from last time, we're just waiting to get the food needed in order to get a new Digimon. While we wait, we're just going to kill some more Digiwees to pass the time, and then hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves a Vmon. Food is the only thing I'm missing at the end of the day, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Oof. Very laggy while we're starting out. Just need to give the computer a minute to get going. Oh hey, Iron Golem. Significantly smaller than Leon. Now we're not as laggy. Oh. Soon enough we won't have to worry about food for Leon or any of the other Digimon that joined the crew. I'm a bit concerned about food for me though, I only have so much bread. Just continue doing atrocities. And by that, I mean a whole bunch of baby murder. Alright, some more food ready. I'm gonna just plop down onto here because it's already busted. You shouldn't be in there. Alrighty, that's seven more once we start doing the other rows. Oh, you jumped, didn't you? There we go. Hey, Risk. You haven't quite well right now. Hey, finally getting some more of those. How are you doing, Risk? Yes, yeah, so I have plenty of food, so I'll do that. Wait, you streamed? I'd say you should have let me know I would have been there, but I've actually been quite busy today. Um, so I might not have been able to make it. I probably wouldn't have been able to make it. What was your stream on? I'll swing around at some point and watch the VOD. You have that turned on, right? So it's a little setting. You just turn on, now you get VODs. Now the food comes in handy. How much meat do we have anyway? 51. Once we get to 64, I'll go for a Vmon. Oof. Yeah. I remember my first couple of streams I didn't remember too. Because it's just a little setting in um, Twitch Studio. There we go. I believe that one's ready. Yep. That immediately replaces the one that we just used to feed Leon. Right, you weren't here, but last stream um, we've named the Stingmon Leon. Because I'm wanting to give all the Digimon that I get a name. And the reason why I'm not planting all the seeds is because I'm going to wait till all of them get to one row. Uh, and then... I'm going to 
honestly, I'm probably not even going to wait for that. But at some point, I just, like, need to restart from here, this row instead. Oh, you streamed Mega Man CX? I love Mega Man CX. Man. Love the Z and ZX games and all that. Buff, follow me, the V... You know what? That's it now. Um... Bartholomew and Leon. Because Leon's not a bad name. I'm just going to have like a bunch of Digimon with like really badass names. And then just Bartholomew the Vmon. <laughs> if it allows the characters, I'm actually going to add the Vmon into its name. So then like when it's in its later evolutions, it's still just going to be called the Vmon. It'll have the incorrect Digimon in its name. Make sure you don't run away. There we go. Now, goodbye. <laughs> oh, yeah, when they fuse, I'll rename them Bartho Leon. If I remember to, anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to just place down some more anyway, because I'm not going to wait till they're all fully grown. And I get all the seeds back when I break them anyway, so... It's not like I'll lose out on anything by doing this. So after we get a Vmon, I'll fix up the farm. And we have 57 meats, and I'm going to go for a Vmon once I have 64. So just like a stack. So we'll be there very soon. I'll have to get another... Digimon and like check what level we usually get to the ultimate stage at and then try to like You know what evolution doesn't really matter like it doesn't give stat bonuses or anything So level doesn't really like matter for what level you evolve at It would matter if it was like your stats are your level or like your base stats as a child, and then a multiplier based on which stage you're at. So, like, lower stages, like baby and whatnot, go down. Higher stages, like champion, go up. These melons are never going to face the correct direction. I will literally place you sideways. Why? I don't know how to make it go the right direction. I give up. This is my hell. It's always going to be facing the wrong direction. Now I'll place these two down as well. Make melons my food source. For a bit. In the last world, it was all carrots. So I might do that. But yeah, so... Hopefully, later on in the mod's development, it'll be a thing where you have base stats and then higher evolutions, it multiplies and gets stronger and all that. That could be an interesting way to handle it. Because right now, whether, whether Leon is a Stingmon 
aura of worm on, his stats are going to be 39, 39, 39, 38, 39, 38. It's like, it's not going to change depending on stage. It's purely aesthetic, I'm not going to lie. I, I think so, anyway. I don't fully understand it just yet. Um, but from what I can tell, it really doesn't seem to make a difference. Throw one up over here. Oh wait, this one's fully grown as well. Just turn... Learn into six melon seeds and plant some more melons. Alright, 59. So in a couple of small meats, we'll be ready to go get a Vmon. Nothing to compost. I can compost that. Nothing else. Yeah, it didn't help. I'm just going to quickly throw away these things because they don't really have any use for me right now. I'll keep the D-terminal on me because I'll lose it. Yeah, so we need five more meat. Uh, the way I would see it is like have child be the baseline because when you get a starter Digimon it's at the child level and then there's like a multiplier and then so like each stage is given a number and then if it's this number it's like say child is three so if it's three then times one for its stats if it's a champion then times 1.25 Ultimate is 1.5, and then Mega is times 2. Wait. Oh my god, that melon's facing the right way. That's amazing. Um, but then, like, the babies and all that, 2 and 1, will go down 75 and 50. So the lower stages get weaker, and then the higher stages get stronger from the stat changes. Which is, like, rookie being that baseline. So if you get your Digimon nice and strong as a rookie, it'll get way stronger when it evolves upwards, or lose some of that strength when it goes down. You're not allowed in here. Trespassers will be eviscerated. You're on 1 HP, buddy. You're not surviving this. <coughs> Excuse me. I always freak out a little when I hear the spider. Oh, thank you. This is that hole that I've covered over. Probably should have put a torch in there or something. Oh, I see some more crops ready to harvest. Sixty-three, so and one more. Yes, yeah, so that's for Vmon. That's for me. That's for Vmon. I know that's for Leon. Me Vmon. Anyway. Here we are. I'm anxious and want to get extra just in case, but at the same time, I, otherwise, if I don't leave now, I'm just going to go, oh, but I should get more just in case for the rest of the stream.
Get back here. This is for you. You know what? No, it's for it's for Bartholomew the Vemon. All right. Now you're nice and safe. Let's get moving. Level twenty desert. Everything's loaded in. Moving has frozen the game. All right, hey Guru Mon. No, nah, the game has undeaded. So over here, the Digimon will be level 21. Uh, unlike with Pokemon, you don't want to get a lower level Digimon and then level it up over time. Because, you know, this ain't Pokemon. This is a mod. It's still being developed. Yeah, so all the level 22s are here. Here's all the level 21s. We just got to find a Vmon here now. Really, level 20 works too. It's just the last time we grinded to level up a Digimon, it died. Yeah, grab that Agumon if we want, but only have the one V pet now. All that matters. I thought that this Agumon was a Vmon for a sec. What is wrong with its tail? Let me put you out of your misery with that messed up tail there, buddy. Like, look at look at normal Agumon's tail. Nothing to it. It's got like an extra segment. And the segment's all stuffed. Not missed there. 20 HP. Yeah, I can't see how much HP. 7, okay, it dies, yep. Muscle Yam to help you out. Reason why I'm killing Digimon as well is just that there's, like, more likely to spawn because there's lots of, less mobs in the area. But honestly, I can just move around. That's a Higuru, that's an Agu. Yeah, so we're into that 19 level area I don't like, but the Digimon over there will be unloading. So we can just go back over there and get them to spawn new ones, and hopefully a Vmon will be among them. See a little Higuru Mon. Uh, armadillo, a bunny. Leon, get out of the way, stop pushing me down. Forgot that I had armor on and got confused for a sec. Now I see Haguru, level 21. Uh, any level 21 Vmons in the area? There we go. Now that's it. Gardramon. There we go. Leon. Bro, just, just walk. Just, just, just walk up to it. There we go. Oh, 
Armadillomon, Armadillomon, Hagurumon, Hagurumon. Yeah, so Vimon doesn't seem to be the most commonly spawning Digimon. But if it could spawn in, that would be very nice. Get out a health item, actually, just in case. My guy needs healing. Put the stone hoe away. Uh, hit him with another. Come in with an attack of my own. I completely miss. Okay, ability ready, hit him with that ice archery. I put the bed down at the farm. Didn't pick it back up. So mobs are going to be spawning here now. That's going to be fun. So keep the brightness thing on. Actually turn it off because we're outside. So it doesn't really matter, but it keeps the atmosphere. Spiral. Haguru. Armadillo. Haguru. There we go. Keep seeing that spiral. <laughs> Thinking, oh, Vibon, finally. Stop dodging and weaving. Oh, that's a Vimon. Oh, hey, Black Agumon. <laughs> this is not a Vimon, it's a creeper. What's Black Agumon like? He likes nothing. Shadow Toy Agumon. Shamamon, Higurumon. Yeah, so I don't think he's going to spawn during the night. Have you seen the method to get, like, heads in Minecraft? You have to get a charged creeper to blow something up. The easiest way to get a charged creeper is to get a creeper trapped and then hit it with a trident that has channeling during a thunderstorm and then lure the other mob over and get it to blow up so it kills the other mob so that the mob will drop its head. There are items you can only get by crafting them with mob heads, such as creeper banners. Mm. And it's really inefficient and tough to like do a bunch. Which is really bad, given how it's the only way to get certain items. Oh, press the wrong button. Oh, if holy light got resisted, huh? Oh, wrong button. got a healing item from that. And you leveled up and healed. Nice. Black Agumon, Agurumon. Didn't stand a chance. Uh, is it just me? Is there something else alongside mobs? True armor and rotten flesh. Weird. There's nothing next to creepers. And I really shouldn't be next to creepers. Oh, hey, a green spiral. Haven't seen one of these before. There you go. Now I'll just eat my fill. Oh, 
How's the moon gone? Okay, we're halfway through the night. Oh, I've got a healing item from that. Oh, that shaman one's after me, isn't it? Yep, he's after me. Okay, that's lovely. Ow. That was half of my health. What was I saying? Well, now I can heal at least. Wait, item transferred to the Digibank. Oh, God. Talk about a pain. Uh, let's see if there's anything worth grabbing. No. Nope. There he is. Boop. Back to the desert we go, and hopefully, a Vemon will spawn in this time. If not, we have the vet to skip any knights that may come up. Uh, I feel a bit lost. Let's go this way, don't. Oh, hey. Green spiral. No, it's this way that I go. Yeah, it's over that way. Where the level 20s are. Some nice relaxing Minecraft music while we try to find a Vemon. How quaint. Don't try to run away. Come on, that was nothing. Get him, dude. You can hit him. Come on, Leon. Destroy him. There we go. That's a nice proper job there. Oh, why is there just a broken piece of cactus there? Um, actually, how close are you to leveling up? Yeah, it's not too bad. We get 300 from each battle, so... Let's just continue getting rid of her Guru Mon to increase the chances of a new Digimon spawning. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, if that did no damage. Come on, Leon, you gotta do a bit better than that. Any V mod? <gasps> Come on, please. resist my axe. That's right, you can't. Uh, why does... I see another Vmon that's level 21, please. Just not allowed nice things, am I? Just... Just can't feel out something that would make me happy. I... That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Too simple, wouldn't it? Both of you Vmons. Terrible. Well, that gets rid of the trashy pants at least. 
Now I just need to heal a bit. And then get on to killing the Agumons, so... Yeah, no, I don't have a death wish. Um, essentially, there is a command, I believe it is slash create, which gives you an item I don't know how to use, but it's used to somehow spawn in Digimon. Oh, crap. If you use slash spawn to get a Digimon in, you can kill it fine, but if you tame it, it immediately goes into your Digibank, and if a Digimon spawned with slash spawn is in the Digibank, your game will crash whenever you try to access it. Meaning, if I do that, I will never be able to access the Digibank again, meaning that I can never get any new Digimon again, and if I die, Leon gets sent to the Digibank, like we saw earlier, I can no longer get him. So essentially just game over. That's what happened in the previous world. I've just lost everything essentially. Axe is probably gonna break soon. <laughs> Hardest choices require the strongest wills, dude. I'll get the Vmon and then I just won't be able to do anything with it, or any Digimon, ever. There is literally no benefit to doing it that way. If this was like a YouTube video, I would just have a compilation of just all the final hits killing all the Digimon. But then... And then just suffering because all the Vmons have no favourite food so I can't tame them. And then eventually I find a Vemon that does have a favourite food, tame it, and we just get to skip this whole grind fest. But I don't, and I just upload this as a VOD. Because I don't have any good video editing software right now, and I can't be bothered anyway. How are you so low on HP? Did you get hit by cactus or something? I am totally hitting this damn rabbit. There we go. That time I didn't even hit. I swear I missed because it's lag and whatnot. <gasps> Vemon level 20, please. Deadmon walking. Kill him. Do it. Good. Now heal my child. Actually, how close are you to leveling up? Oh, you're about halfway there. I don't think you can, like, set them to automatically attack you. Once you spawn them in, you have to manually, like, attack them and stuff. But yeah, I can use slash spawn to get an Omnimon if I want to die. Actually, that's a funny thing. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. No, no. Stingmon, Stingmon, go back in. Oh, no, you you leave, please. Go away. Um, Any Digimon summoned with Slash Spawn will be level 1. And since your stage doesn't matter, as long as you're level 1, you just get one shot. Please... No! He won't take any other foods. So that's 64 meat, and he didn't join the team. I was saying I should have held off and waited till I had more stuff. <sighs> You can you can die now, buddy. You've ruined this stream. And you've ruined my axe. Uh let's actually see. Slash Summon Digimon oh, 
Digimobs, and I'll just show you, these are all the Digimon that are here. So yeah, that's like a insane amount. Yeah, I'll go for Ancient Greymon. Ancient Greymon. And then I can only set the position. Yeah, it's just which one. And when I spawn him, he doesn't have a model yet, so he's just a little guy. And if you look, uh, level zero. Oh, sorry, level one with no stats. That's what they're like when they spawn in for the first time. Yep, he's just a little sprite that's found on the, um... Digivice. Hi. Look at this, just instantly down to one HP. Instantly dead. Oh wow, he gave good stuff. Anyway, we have no use in being here anymore. And Stingmon's pretty beat up too. I'll actually just quickly heal him up. There we go. Um, We can honestly get rid of that. Go home, throw some stuff in some chests, and then... Uh, die inside a little, I guess. Not really much I can do about the current situation. No. There's my rotten flesh. There's all the Digimon items. Where do I keep my bones? There's the bone pile. Energy. Digimon. Stone hoe. Ah, uh, somewhere I keep those. There we go. All the iron golems in good health. Yep. Well, time to be a farmer again. This was the one I was pointing this way before. Oh wow, that was fast. After that, we'll do super veggies, then pork radish, muscle yam. 
You know what? This is what I'll do. Eat a piece of bread. And then move these out of the way, get that down, get that down. What I'm gonna do Muscle yam, pork radish, super veggie, carrot, bone, yam, pork, veggie, carrot, bone, muscle, pork, blank, uh, blank, carrot, meat, muscle, pork, blank, carrot, meat, muscle. See, it's going slow. Oh, and the game froze. Yeah, sound effects are still going, but the music broke. Nonetheless, there we go. Now that we've sorted out the rows. We get to work. So yeah, we'll have four rows of each type of food. That's the main idea. Not sure if it'll expand or not in the future. Probably not, because I like it like this. This is nice and proper. But, as you can see, not much of each type of food anymore. can do really is continue to train and then eventually give it another shot. <gasps> I know what we can do. I know what we can do while we wait for the thing to grow. Oh, I am a smart little cookie. We're going to be fighting so many Digimon. Oh, wait, I forgot to grab the items. Why are we bothering with Digimon that's already really high leveled? That's all the chips I have. So now we will actually have Stingmon with us. Because what we can do. Let's actually check up with food vendor Tentomon and see if there's anything good here. What you got for sale? Super carrot or, or radish? Small meat. Yeah, I have 300, so I don't have any. I can't get anything good from anything right now. Um, if I get to like a regular vendor. So at some point, I'll go to one of the other villages, and then I will... There we go. Then I will, um... Get all the hay bales and stuff, and then... Get all of the... Uh, vendors and check them out. 
Perurumon's going well, so I might actually do that now. What I'll do is I'll get rid of another village one. So I can see all the villages. And then just do that. So that timer, 13 minutes, is going to tick down over time. So we've got 13 minutes to go to different villages. Collect hay bales. And go around to the different vendors. And of course, do that to get some seeds and throw those into the composter. All right, Tentomon, what's for sale? Gigabyte. Oh, that's good. Fatal bone. Okay. Uh, free type. Nothing. Data type. No. Ice crystal for Frigimon. Fatal bonus for Skull Greymon. Surfboard is plus five. Gigabyte is tempting. We're gonna have to say no. Okay, where's that witch? That's making me a bit nervous. Um, let's just continue searching. I'm sure there's more vendors in this village. See, there we go. There's another right there. Palmon. Toycaris free type vaccine. I actually get that because then if I do manage to get my hands on a Vmon, I'll have the item right away. Uh, toy tank. Yeah, so Digicore, if I get nine of those, uh, I get Holy Data, which doesn't do much, but Holy Data can be used into large Digicore, which is an accessory, which is another slot. It's the third slot in the Digimon's inventory, and then we get 50% more XP from everything that gets XP for a Digimon. Yeah, Saddle doesn't have any use when you're out there. Uh, yeah, so essentially, bytes, gigabytes, terabytes, all that, uh, up to exabytes, those are the XP items. Because Digimon are made up of data, you're essentially just feeding them more data to make them stronger. That's the reasoning behind that. There we go. Now we'll just replant because we're not. Oh, those are melons. We're not complete monsters. There we go. You know, I say we're not complete monsters, like we're stealing all their food supplies in the hay bales. Armor vendor, don't have enough money for anything. Armors that are worth getting. Any other vendor types here or nah? Wait, was that a red bed? Oh, yeah, bread. Yoink. Um, and you guys can have the orange one in return because red is better. Bed. Okay, I see some more hay bales down there. We'll go check out that, see if there's any vendors. The main thing I'm on the lookout for is red bits. Oh, sorry, red data. Because it can be used to change the color of Digizoid. Make it usable for all sorts of crafting. Yo, little guy located. What do you like, little guy? Oh, I don't have any on me, sorry. Uh, yep, yeah, so there's no more Digimon. That's 
home. I wonder what... Uh, yeah, level 26. That's going to be some strong champions. It's around the right level to train Leon. Very low. So if I had healing items, I'd definitely train Leon here, but since I don't, there's a chance he'll get killed. And what, he'll fight a total of one Digimon, and then we'll have to stop till he heals. Not really much use in that. See, six leather for one emerald, and I have the I, I have a mod that lets me turn emeralds into uh, leather, uh, run of flesh into stuff. I have tried multiple Digimon games in Roblox. I've tried Digimon Ority, Digimon Reborn, all those ones. Digimon Masters, Roblox Edition. Leon fight the... Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'll let Leon fight the spiral. Yeah, Digimon Ority and all that. Practically all of them you fight as the Digimon. Alright, my axe is gone, so I'm going to have to fight with the pickaxe. There we go. Got an XP on here. This is who I'm wanting to get. Sadly, since he's a champion, doesn't like any foods. Alright, one HP, one more hit, kill. Hey, and he leveled up from that too. Alright, now we put him away and continue onwards. We don't have time to be playing around. No, wrong thing. Uh, no, there's one more village down here. This should be the last village I need to check out. some bread. Okay, chickens just, just stop. Oh, Vendor Agumon. Okay, he's gonna die. No, that's not what I was aiming for, buddy. Um, Obsidian, Brown, Red Ruby, Petabyte. That's the largest one. Oh, no, it's not the largest. Red Shell for Shellmon, Digicamera. Yeah. Red Ruby for... Oh, Phoenix one, yeah. Um, you want me to break that one? No, that's not helping you anyway. I should probably skedaddle so you deload and don't die. Um, that's me done nonetheless, so let's sit back over and then get to work. I am actually going to plant like a row of hay because wheat, uh, not hay, um, row of wheat because uh, baby Digimon do sometimes like wheat. And, you know, bread is a very good food source. I think I might actually, like, pick up the melon stuff, replace it. You know, when I get over there, because the game's dying right now. There we go. Alright. Here we are. Yeah, we made it back in time. Three minutes until you comes out. Yeah, 
this. So like once I have guaranteed that I'll get the stuff back from breaking it. Boot, boot. So just wait until they all give melon. Break the melons, break the stems, replace with wheat. And then just like the whole row can be used for wheat. I feel like maybe I should use like a separate farm for myself or something. Now I can do like two rows of wheat. And then like everything else is all the Digimon food. Speaking of Digimon Masters, I actually like um not the game, the game's terrible, but going onto the wiki and like seeing what Digimon have been added recently, just to see what's going on, you know? Because there are some cool Digimon that they added and you get to look at cool 3D models of them at least. All right, planted all the wheat seeds we need to plant for now, so let's... Damn, wheat seeds have a low chance of upping it. Right now, we're just focused on growing other stuff, so. There we go. Ooh, one minute, here we go. Get the bite out. Um, get some food out. Get some food in me. Now the moment. We've all been waiting for the past 13 minutes of just running around grabbing stuff from villagers. Yeah, spawn Digimon start off with zero stats. This guy's got like 12, 14, 13. He's not a slouch. Still not sure what AWK means. I'm presuming it means like awakening or something. But I don't know how to use that. So whether that's just there and then it's coming in a future update or something, I do not know. Get out the bed, it's gonna be night soon. Seven, so now we can sleep. So all the others are like around the same as this little guy. And then he'll be leveled up and stuff. Cause 500 XP is a lot for a level 1 Digimon. Oh, I'm going to hatch him and then he's immediately going to go to the Digibank and I'll have to go get him. Oh, what you doing out there, buddy? You, uh, you okay? Oh. They use the Digimon try evolution thing. Little guy located. Boom. Level 2. Uh, what moves do we got? Acid bubbles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey, that's another level up because you got the kill. 5 XP leveled you up, damn. That 500 XP because you're only able to level up at one level at a time from items. That's probably a bit overkill. Okay, I messed up. I messed up, please help. Oh, I messed up big time. Okay, he's on one HP. Get him. Yeah, leveled up again. Really should have waited to use that <laughs> that XP item. That bite was wasted.
Oops, sorry. Okay, Nyokimon, right? Pururumon, right? Nyokimon's the enemy. Uh, what specials have you got? Just acidic buffles. 1 HP, 0 HP. And that's another level up. That's another level up. That's another level up. You're doing well, buddy. Where you at? There you are. Age three, because we're already level seven. What's going to happen is he's going to be like a baby, but like way over level for what he's at, because he just won't be old enough. There we go. What does he need to level up anyway? Oh, I see what it is now. All of the 500 got left behind and it's just like overgrown it. So now whenever he does it, it takes that 5 XP, fills it in from that 500 from earlier in order to make the difference, and then instantly levels him up. So now it's going to take like a good couple of kills in order to get to level 10, but because of that bite, he just needed to get the kills in order to level up. That's really good, actually. That's not just good to know, that's just well done. So it's not just you use the item and you're instantly way stronger, you actually need to do some work as well. Once Perurumon is uh, the right level, then we have just two rows of oh, already. Once Perurumon is the right level and Digivolving and all that, I'm thinking of having Perurumon armor Digivolve because it becomes Hawkmon. Hawkmon can armor Digivolve into a couple different things. Where's the sun? Oh, there's the sun. Yeah. So we're getting some items. Let's put Perurumon away for now. Um, Risk, what do you think we should call Perurumon? So I can't think of a good name for him right now. Yeah, so we don't need Vmon. have a dedicated food chest now do I See if I have any wheat in any of these chests. Try to turn it all into blocks. There we go. So I can put those blocks away for now. I'll just have to like make a chest, probably over at the farm for food some other time. One final check of the farm and then we're gonna go train Perurum on a bit. Yeah, so a lot of the 
meat is ready right now, and so some carrots. Only what gave me one seed there, that's disappointing. Now the wheat is ready. But so we'll be able to start selling small meat seeds very soon for money. Once we've run out of rows to put them. Yeah, there's only one more row after this one. So I think we might actually do that. I failed to get Vmon, so we'll just stick around here, get items, because once we actually start using <laughs> all the items these Digimon are giving us, we're going to get an insane amount of stuff. Like, the sheer amount of healing items and all that we'll be getting our hands on. Let's quickly count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. yeah I've lost count, um, I like I've missed blocks and stuff. Point is, only so many left to get. These are growing decently far, so I'll be able to fill up that amount very quickly. Oh, which is why I have that. Even if I don't, I'm getting that very quickly. So I'll be able to go for another Vmon. Continue to get items, and then very soon I'll have enough to. Well, I have way more than enough, but I'll be able to make another um, V pet in order to try to get a Vmon again. Dang it. That's progress lost. Oh, I know. A good use of the money would be to buy, like, hawk radish and super veggie seeds so that I can grow, like, so I can get them since I, they've just been really unlucky and slow growing. Get out the super carrots for food. There you go, buddy. And put the bed in the last slot for now. Don't know why it's that the toy car and emerald on me. Should have put it away earlier, but here we are. Two, three, four, five, six, sleep. There we go. Yep, some more meat has grown, so we'll go pick that up and then continue training. Because picking up and replanting food is top priority since it helps make sure we're getting as much out of it. So if we don't, then the one that would have been planted there could have grown fully by the time we do get around to it. I say we're about halfway for the second last of that food type, and here's some more of this one. Three seeds is very good. Oh, some hawk radishes ready, wait. No, it needs to grow one more, just like that one. Yeah, oh, here's this one ready. 
Only got one seed out of that, but we also got the meat, which can be used to tame a Vmon later, hopefully. Got three out of this one. That easily makes up for the small yield last time. Uh, boop. Seeds can be used along here later at some stage. Once I've moved out all of that stuff, yeah, go over here and plant another hawk rider. See, these two are ready now. One, two, three, four, five. It was worthwhile waiting. Shouldn't have thrown that wheat in there. Oh well. Not oh, paper room on. So I'm currently like, I'm thinking Kirby, because he's just a little pink blob right now, for a nickname for Perurumon. But at the same time, I want to try to like, decide on which evolution I'll have him be at the end, and then give him a name related to that. I can rename him whenever, actually. So let's do that. Stats. Kirby. Oh, he's nearly two days old. At three, he gets to evolve. moved out of the way so all the wheat that grows can now be placed. Oh. Missed a bit there then. Uh, I love the little sprite of him just plopped down. Uh, where else? Here's some here. Honestly, foods like these are my favourite where the item... Well, like, when you break it, you get both seed and food item. Potatoes and carrots are great and all, but the fact that you have to then replant whatever gains you get kind of sucks. Now I've got 36 small meat, so very soon we'll be able to go for another swing at Vimon. Uh, just check, yep, some more muscle has grown. You're not allowed in here. And the trespasser has been removed. From life, not from the farm. Like, it's, it's dead now. Well, if his energy is getting low from all the attacks he's doing, you need to get him something... Good soon. I'm probably going to use Leon as the base for the fusion, actually, between, like, Leon and a Stingmon, uh, and an XVmon, because Leon has an ability. So that automatically makes him better, since if he's the... Oh, I'm so sorry. If he's the base of the fusion, then that means that he will... Can you eat? No, you can't eat the tears. That means that the ability will likely be transferred to the Pi Ultramon that comes out of the fusion... Trespasser. This is good, just tending to the fields, getting rid of any trespassers. Getting... Oh. Not getting enough seeds out of that. You know? Though, you know, it does destroy the field to get rid of trespassers. There we go. That's still not ready. Ah, we're one off of finishing that. Oh, here's our one then. Never mind, it was just one. Oh. 
Yep. Uh, hopefully you give me two. Yep. Now I can go finish that off. Now 44 meat already. Very soon I'll have enough to go get me a Vmon. And I will probably try to get multiple stacks. Not making that mistake again. You're too close for comfort, you need to die. And now, Bottomon dies. And now we attack Zerimon. Small amounts of XP, but we'll get items from it, that's all that really matters. End of the day. I love the little smile on Zerimon's face. The little smirk he has. There we go. There's a carrot for your hard work. Just need one more and then all the seeds will go into compost. Oh, you're not meant to go there. We're going in this sort of format where it all goes from this way and builds up across the way. Uh, boop. Boop, boop. Yay, you're finally ready. Yes, we got three out of that. That's great. One more already over here. I'm actually really happy with how this farm is coming along. I'm making great progress on it. I'm telling you, Risk, once we get going, this thing's going to be given insane amounts of money. You not be able to buy bits and instantly grow or level up Digimon super easily. It's going to be great. Oh, you know what small meat appearing in my hotbar means. That's 64. So now we get working on that second set of 64. Before we continue on the amazing progress of this farm, though, take a quick nap. Oh, I thought it was only level 9. Kirby's level 10. Boom. Now all this goes into the composter. Yes, there will come a time where I'm not 
constantly working on this because it will be a constant thing if I try to go until everything's down. I'll just let it grow for a bit over a couple of streams or so. Maybe check on it every now and then and then I'll, once everything has grown I'll break everything and replant everything. Like one crop type at a time really. All the running arounds made me hungry. Well, if I don't gotta... Yeah, I've got 14. Don't need to worry about not having food, because all this wheat is about to grow, and then I'll be able to turn it all into bread. Here's one already. Oh, with this close, the meat is growing so fast because there's just so many. bits of it planted now. The others will get to this speed once they have the same insane numbers. Make sure I get it all. Extra meat seeds are going to be used for money. We have 18 small meats, so soon we'll be ready to go after a Vemon. While we're on the matter of getting a new Digimon, Let's take a small break from farming to go get a new V-Pet once we harvest and replant the wheat. Hold on to the seeds because they'll be needed in a sec. Put Kirby away for now as well. Does it say his age? Does not say his age. That's interesting. Uh, put him away. Money. Keep the car on me in case we get the theme on. Put those away, and we'll get more along the way. Uh, and put these seeds away. Now let's head back to the farm. And try to get a second set of 64 small meat in order to get... Oh, wait. Right. I have to make the V-Pet. That's what I came for, not just dumping my stuff. Yeah, so I definitely got rid of all the stuff I don't want right now. Uh, where is, okay, that's concerning, where is it, what, where's all the chrome digizoid, because I have some, I know that for a fact, oh, here it is, chrome digizoid, 
And there's that. Um, should make some new tools as well while we're here. Yeah, so first of all, turn you into some more chrome digizoid. Get one of you. Can organize them once I've collected the item types. Make a new pickaxe. Not oh, sorry, new axe. New pickaxe. And for good measure, make another axe. Reorganize the inventory just a little bit. Um, yeah, that's good for now. At some point, gonna have to go mining for more Hong Long ore, which is gonna be a pain. But end of the day, it'll be worth it because of the fact that it's used in a lot of the Digimon related stuff. Look at this, six pieces. 180. That's quite nice right there. That can be used for a couple of different things. Once we have a good amount, we can go to the armor dude and get Crystal Guard, which is the best one that I found. 61. It's better than all the others because the armors don't have secondary things right now, other than maybe like less armor it gives us a bit of HP. But with how high HP gets later on, honestly. Like. It's going to have hundreds of HP, 24 isn't going to be a big difference, but that difference in armor level will make a difference. Also, why they all level, like, cost the same amount, but some are so much better than others. The price disparity is weird. That's going to be night soon. So let's farm for the rest of the day and then go to sleep. So the bed's there. So I've already earned over 600 bits. Like, the amount of bits I'll get from this is insane. Because each type of seed is worth that 30. So each type of seed will earn me that big number. Uh, yep, yeah, and then we go for... Oh, muscle yams are first row. Uh, boop. Get to the radishes in a second. Oh, we've already finished that one, so we get to the second row of this now. Quickly do super veggie, because that's just going to be one, two, get to radish. That's just going to be one, two, head over to carrot, that's just one. None of these other ones on their own have grown. Oh, this carrot and that muscle has grown. Don't really care about putting that carrot in the right place, so. Yep, that's two carrots, that's nice. Now we pull this back out and we continue grabbing meat. If I had a soundboard right now, I'd be playing the vine boom of sound effect every time I say meat. Oh, 
38 past 10, so it's very much bedtime. Uh, yeah, we nearly have a second one ready. That's good. Uh, did not mean to carry the Chrome Digizoid on me. Just realized I have that on me right now. Okay, good, nothing broke from those two. Uh, yep, 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 yep. And then... And then you, and you give me two. Damn, carrots originally had more than yam, and now yam has completely overtaken carrots. Honestly, I'm going to start putting the bone meal into yam, since the faster that the yam is done, the sooner we get to start using excess seeds for money. And end of the day, that's what, what all this is about. Dosh. Moolah. Lods of money. Whatever little funny thing you want to call it. I'm looking for that green. Uh, boom. That's another 64 done. So we'll just grab the rest of it and then we will head to the level 20 desert and get us a Vmon. Once we have that, we'll sell all the seeds that we have and then finish up the stream because I just want to see how many seeds we got. And then I've got some more practice to do because I am attending a Beyblade tournament tomorrow. Okay, a few didn't break. I'm very much forward to looking to it looking forward to attending that. Yeah, alrighty then. We continue going in circles to get all the meat, we're just gonna continue going in circles as more of it grows, so let's head over to the desert and hopefully get us a new friend. Oh, there's a Vmon already. No favorite. Alrighty then. Head over to the usual place. This is the wrong direction. Yep, that's an Agumon. Armadillomon, there's the Vmon that doesn't have a favourite food. Which is very sad. Agumon, what do you like? Nothing. Oh. You don't have a favourite either. Uh, Agurumon, Agumon, Agumon, what's this Agumon like? Yeah, Agurumon, Agumon. Should have grabbed a second, should have made a second V-Pet just in case. After getting V-Mon we had leftovers, try to get an Agumon. Okay, here's our guy. You shall f henceforth be known as Bartholomew in, in a minute once you join the team. If you join the team, a very gluttonous little guy. Does this actually like, no, weight doesn't increase. Yeah, 
Yes! Item transfer to Digibank. Oh, that's great. looking for a place to throw stuff um and so now we get this now if I'm correct boom boom didn't clear the quest that sucks okay what are your specials those are some good specials stats rename Bartholomew. There. Oh. oh wait, that's incorrect. Bartholomew. The V Mon. Yes, it does. You have unlimited characters. Bartholomew the V Mon has been born. Now then, he needs to be... Oh, sorry, just got to mute for a moment. Alrighty then, so... Yeah, okay, so it does so. Um, that's Bartholomew on the squad. Uh, I'm actually going to keep him in his V-Pet for now. And I'll just, like, level him up way ahead of what he needs to be at. So now... I'm going to go over each of these rows one last time for... the seeds. And after that, I will go sell all of them and then end the stream there. saw that one was fully grown, but that would just result in me running in circles if I were to start going over once it grow once I'm done with the row. Okay, each row of the meat has now been fully done. Put all of that away, and now we do stuff for the carrots. Now the yam, we just collect for here. Then place it down over here. Nothing from the super veggie. There's a couple hawk radishes for the grown, and I think that one just grew and finished up. No, it needs to get a bit bigger first. Yep, that's all good. So let's head to just over here to get a vendor to 
give this stuff to. Now, that's for a thousand. Oh my god, this is great. Now that I've done that, what I'm going to do... Is... Going to go to bed, because it's about to be night time. So I will throw some stuff away first. So at some point I'll train up these two, probably at the level 20 area. Uh, it's once I've smelted down all the messages, uh, all the messages, all of the items so that I can get a whole bunch of packets and healing items so I can heal in case we get hurt. Because I am an overprotective parent. So, let's go to one of the other villages. Check out what the vendors have for sale. Oops. Teleporting there broke it. Let's get you back in the water, buddy. Oh, no, no, you want, no, you want to go that way. You want to go that, that way. Come on. There we go. Much better. And there's Vendor Agumon still drowning. Gold data, gigabytes, cell phone. Wagaruramon. Buy one of those. Buy that. And buy a bunch of these. Alright, there we go. Uh, now, the plan is simple. Go to, let's say, level 18 or so. Get out Vmon. Give him a bunch of gigabytes, and if you look now, way more than he needs. So that'll be able to carry him for a level or two. Uh, to help him level up faster. And yep, this is where the sand village is. If I can find a Digimon around here somewhere. Be very nice. <laughs> His name, little name thing when he selected is Bartholomew the Veem. Because the Veemon gets cut off, it's too long. Oh, I love that. Okay, this is level 13 place. Honestly, not really worth bothering with the Digimons here. That'll do for giving me the XP to insta level up. Bartholomew the Veem. So it did get cut off, didn't it? Yeah, didn't let me do Veem on. I think that's honestly a little better. That's funnier. Alright, there's that. I'm actually going to go to level 20 place because it's going to be better for leveling up. We'll go for a bit more. Once we hit two hours, we'll finish up for the day. What do you like? Dang, you could have been Bartholomew had you spawned sooner. Goodbye. Oof. Oh, buddy. No need to come at me. 
Yeah, so, ooh. Turn like that. Please fight Vimon and not me. It would be very rude. Now we kill you, level up, heal up, all that good stuff. I'm actually just going to end the stream now. Um, we'll train up Vimon next stream to level... Damn, level 26 already. Yeah, because I gave him all those items. Right, so what will happen is we'll continue to train Vimon. Uh... I can't get flame weapons, because if the Digimon dies from fire, then it won't count for anything. But if I give my chance to be like sharpness and stuff, increase the damage, and then hit him hard as we can, that'd be perfect. Of course, being careful not to get kills ourselves, because otherwise Vimon won't get anything. How close are you to leveling up? Yeah, it's a good distance away. 1 HP. There we go. Yeah, so now these guys are basically the same level, being both like 26 and 27. I just want to show you. over here to all the champions. Oh, hey, Greymon. Uh, yeah, 34, 32, 34, 31, 31, 32. 29, 25, 30, 42, 36, 33. So, like, around the same stat total. It's just he's more evenly distributed. Akatorimon... Hey, another Greymon. Uh, yo! Night Chessmon. That's a cool dude. Gardromon. Let's fight Gardromon, because he's the level we want to be at to evolve, and we're already past that. It's just that we're 11 Minecraft days away from evolving, which is, what, two hours? He's going to have to just be out and about. So if I train him for like a good while, like to level 30 or something, then train this guy to level 30, and I just have them both out for a bit while I train up Perurumon, who I'm going to have use the Digimental. I'll give them an Evo Liner and a Digimental. It's going to become Hawkmon, who can turn into different Digimon based on which Digimental it's given. Uh, let's just give my... Little guy, some support. I immediately get distracted. I wonder if champions will give more XP because it's like level twenty gives um hundred fifty. Let's see how much this guy gives. Get him, Vimon. No, no, get. No. Okay, next hit will kill. Uh, come on. Yeah, 300. Yeah, so it does increase and stuff. There we go. Some good items right there. Some Togemon around the place. Um, I wonder if I can have them both out at the same time. Uh, you know, he's slightly higher levels and evenly distributed with high stats. Not so much for Bartholomew. Uh, will both of them attack? Just Vimon. But once... Oh, 
Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. Now they're teaming up on Togemon. Since I hit Vemon, I thought I was going to attack Veem. I was worried about Bartholomew's safety. Did not want two champions attacking him at the same time. So we get a dead boy. Now we swap to controlling Steamon and do it an attack. Vemon will be ready again next, so swap to him. I wonder if it's based on who gets the final kill, or if they'll both get it since they're like owned by the same person. Uh Vemon, that is not proper swimming form. Yeah, but just skip that. Yep, Leon got the final hit, so only he got XP. Alright, uh, both of you, I, I guess just in, just you then. There we go. How's Leon doing? Oh, he's doing fine on HP as well. So it's about to be night, so pick up Bartholomew. Home is here right now. Oh no, I broke it. Oh, and I put the hoe away. That sucks. I believe I put it in one of those chests. No, I think I put it in the chest in the house. So these two are going to be used on Perurumon. Uh, don't need those. Yeah, so let's quickly go over everything. Each row just once. Sell all the excess seeds, which is just going to be of one type, but nonetheless. And then that'll be the end of the stream for today. more farming and we'll be good to go. I really like uh, what we got done this stream. We made amazing progress on the farm. Got the Veeam on that we were hoping for. I was thinking we weren't going to get it this stream. I put it on the stream's title and we're not going to end up getting them. But no, I ended up finding one. be here.
else needs to get done? This. Put those down. Orc radish. Yeah, these two are done. That's five more of those. Right, let's go sell all this and then I'll be heading out. Uh, all those seeds, please. One thousand. It seriously gets me so much. I'm going to be rich in no time. So, that's going to be en the end of the stream. Um, that's that nice and done. Before I pop off, though, I am just going to quickly check what all of Hawkmon's armor evolutions are. Digi-Egg Evolution Chart. Hawkmon, we've got... Oh, Alomon, seriously. Then Rinkmon, Hulsemon, Shurumon, Flybeamon, Hawkmon. Okay, if that one's in there, I'm very happy with that. Digi-Egg of Hope gets us Moosemon. <laughs> That's great. Well, I will uh, see you next time, Risk. And hopefully I have some good news about the Beyblade Tournament. See ya.